Hello traders! Today I will show you how to use a trading box technical analysis tool. This is the only tool you will ever need to make analysis on your chart. The most obvious important function is to extend rectangles and trend lines to the right edge of the chart. On these introduction slides you can see the most important functions of this tool. Rectangles and trend lines have some common functions, such as price touch alert, outside candle close alert, sound repeat alert, color change buttons, time frame object visibility buttons, and move to object origin button. Functions for rectangles are break or engulf alert and risk reward ratio calculation. Functions for trend lines are flat trend line button, ray or angle trend line alerts, and compression drawing tool. Horizontal line has also button that search for price line break in chart history. All alerts have also support for mobile push notifications. Now let's go to the chart where I will demonstrate you how to use these indicator functions. I will show you example for supply and resistance, but the same logic is also used for demand and support. I will use a rectangle drawing tool to draw a supply level. This button will show up next to selected rectangle or trend line. With this button I will extend this rectangle to the right edge of the chart. Now I will use a trend line drawing tool to draw a resistance level. With this button I will extend this trend line to the right edge of the chart. If you want to cancel object extension then use this button. I will now disable auto scroll function to move chart a little bit left and right so that you can see how it works when this auto scroll is disabled. You can see that the rectangle and trend line stays extended into the future. I will now rename a rectangle and trend line to custom name. You also already noticed that when I select extended object, the buttons are displayed on the right side. I can click on button no text to hide object name from the chart. Now I will enable price touch alert for extended rectangle and trend line. When the price will touch this rectangle or trend line, you will receive alert in your MetaTrader 4 terminal. If you have push notification setup enabled, then you will also receive notification to your mobile phone. For the demonstration purpose, I will now move this rectangle and trend line down to the price, so you can see how alert pop-up looks like. Now I will enable outside candle close alert. When the candle will close above supply rectangle, 
or above resistance trend line, you will receive alert in your MetaTrader 4 terminal. I will now move this rectangle and trend line below the price so you can see how alert pop-up looks like. You can enable sound repeat alert with this air button. I will now trigger alert and the sound will be ringing every few seconds, depend on your second interval setting. You can turn off the sound repeat alert with click on this air button again. You can also change sound for each alert. I will just quickly show you the settings for sound repeat alert so you will get idea what I want to say. This is interval variable and here we have different sounds for different alerts. You can change the wave file name. You can quickly change colors and styles for selected objects. For example this rectangle right here. I can change colors and styles with one click and also the trend line. These colors can also be changed inside indicator input properties. I will show you the indicator input properties. You can change colors right here. So this is the color settings for these buttons right here. So these settings are for these buttons and these two settings are for these buttons. At the top we have time frame visibility buttons that will change selected object visibility property. I will now select this rectangle and click LTF button. This LTF means lower time frame. We can see that the object is now gone from the current time frame. Now let's go to the M15. And here we have this rectangle. You see it is only defined for these three time frames. For each of these button, so for lower time frame, middle time frame and higher time frame, you can define which time frames will be set to selected object. I will show you the indicator input property. You can change the values right here. I will now define rectangle visibility for the middle time frame again. So it is now visible back on M13. 
when we analyze supply demand levels and support resistance levels on the chart. We like to look what happened on lower time frames at the origin of rectangle zone or trend line. For this we can use this button and move chart history to object origin. Let's do example for demand rectangle. So mark one demand and extend the rectangle. Now I will go to M1 and click this button. It moves chart exactly to rectangle origin. And now I can analyze this demand on the lower time frame. Now let's look at rectangle engulf button. This function is used when we want to detect the break or engulf of rectangle. Some traders say that supply has been broken and the others say that supply has been engulfed. It is the same thing. If I now move this rectangle below the price, you will see how alert pop-up looks like. The last rectangle function is risk reward calculation tool. When we click this cell RR button, the horizontal line is created. On this line, we can see the risk reward ratio and the pip distance. When we move this line or when we resize a rectangle, the risk-reward ratio is recalculated. Now let's look at some trend line functions. First is flat trend line button. This is how you can quickly mark important supply demand extreme levels that has been broken in the past. Then we have compression drawing tool to mark price action zone for compression algorithm. You can then enable alerts on both sides of this compression. The last trendline function I want to show you today is Ray or Angle Trendline Alerts. It has the same alert functions as Horizontal Extended Trendline. We can use this to detect when bull or bear trend is broken in the market. Now we click on the Ray button. Now I can enable this price touch alert and for the demonstration purpose I will move this to the price so you can see how alert pop-up looks like. This is now the alert. But you can also have the same functions like the close button and sound repeat button. We also have one great function that is integrated into horizontal line. 
We call it horizontal line break in history. We use this when we want to check some extreme price levels and the source of the zone where the price reacted from to create such a nice price bounce. In this example we will look into supply extreme. This one right here. Now I draw this horizontal line and I will click the button break line. Now I can check the zone where this supply extreme reacted from. So this is the zone. Now let me show you how mobile push notifications look like. I will now open our website. Here you can find short step-by-step -step tutorial how to set up mobile push notifications between MetaTrader 4 Terminal and MetaTrader 4 Mobile App. I will now open indicator list. Here you can find indicator input properties and you can configure your own settings for this trading box technical analysis tool. You can pause video here and check each input parameter in detail if you like. This is everything I wanted to show you today. In the description below you can find the link to our website and also the download link. Goodbye and I wish you happy trading.